a big sigh of relief. Admitted Charleston church shooter Dylan Roof is found competent to stand trial. How family members of the victims are reacting to the news. For many families, it's time to put away those leftovers and to put up the Christmas tree. We'll show you why trees purchased here at this Mount Pleasant lot will do more than just decorate your living room. Live with coverage you can count on. This is News 2 at 5. Good evening to you. Thanks for being with us tonight. I'm Libba Holland. Up first tonight, today, the judge announced admitted Charleston church shooter Dylan Roof is mentally fit to stand trial. Roof admitted to killing nine people at Emanuel AME Church last year. His trial was supposed to start earlier this month, but the judge postponed it in order to evaluate his mental state. He went through an evaluation with an experienced psychiatrist and a two-day court hearing with multiple witness testimonies. Finally, the judge ruled Roof is mentally competent to stand trial. News 2's Ashley Yost was at the federal courthouse for the duration of this mental competency hearing. And today, she talked to one of the victim's family members. Ashley joins us now in the studio. Libba, these families are now one step closer to justice. I talked to Sharon Risher. Her mother, Ethel Lance, was one of those murdered inside Emanuel AME last year. She thanked God as soon as she got the news that her mother's killer would go through trial. Ooh, a sigh of relief because it waiting was like a, a, a ticking bomb. You knew the bomb was ticking. You knew something was going to happen. So this morning was just just a big sigh of relief, thanking God. Because the competency hearing was closed and no information has been released, she still has questions. They had witnesses they called. Well, why were these witnesses called? And so there is a lot of the puzzling mm -hmm. law, legal part of it that you have questions about, but... Right now, I'm just not going to let myself get into those kind of details until I have to sit in that court. And the trial starts Monday. Step one is jury selection. Lawyers will narrow down the jury pool from hundreds of people to 12 jurors and six alternates. Libba, this jury selection process is going to take significantly longer than it does in most cases. Okay, and this trial has been, or just this hearing has been going on for quite some time now. Will we ever get the details of that hearing? Well, the judge hasn't given a definite no that he won't send out those transcripts, but he said not now. His reason was it would jeopardize Roof's Fifth and Sixth Amendment rights, meaning he, it could jeopardize his right to a unbiased jury and a fair trial. All right, Ashley Yost, thank you so much. Yep. Judge Gurgle made sure to include the qualifications of the doctor who evaluated Roof in today's documents. Dr. James C. Bollinger has more than 45 years of experience in psychiatry and he currently works at MUSC. He's authorized or edited 16 books and more than 350 articles in the field. The judge described him as a nationally renowned and respected psychiatrist.